Was he reliving all the time his murders? Well, I wouldn't say all the time. But I took the... Uh, he told me that he had followed my case in the detective magazines and that he had killed two girls in Washington as a copycat crime, so to speak, on the place in Jessup. And I think those were Ott and Naseland. And he, was, he would tell me that he took them up on the logging road and, str and strangled them and had sex with their corpses and went back and had sex with their corpses and cut off their heads. Like, it's a tribute. And I'm thinking, you motherfuckers that wrote that. I said, here's the guy who read it, believed your bullshit, and went out and did something like this. And now, he's like bragging to me. It wasn't exactly a brag, it was like a tribute. How many did you get, really, Jerry? They said 34. Did they get all of them? Or did you have private graveyards? I said, Dad, I'm the best. What can I say to somebody like that, right? What can you say? I, I, you're, you're left without any kind of rational response because if you say, Ted, it's all bullshit, he's going to say, no, it's not. I know. And he knew, see, because he had lived it. And I hadn't lived it except through what was written about me. And he was doing it based on what he had read. So he, he had 36. <laughs> he wanted to be the best. And he was obsessed because they said I had 34. And he was afraid that I had ones that he didn't know about. So, and he was always trying to get me to say, no, that's all I got, 34, you know. <laughs> but I never would say that. I, I discerned that he was concerned about the number. And it was my own way of needling him back by saying, I'm the best, Ted. You're going to fry, and I'm going to be here, and I'll be the best. Just like they said, the number one, Mr. Stone had it all right. The best there ever was. And you're nothing. <laughs> and he'd just go crazy. <laughs> Can't be. And I'd take out my little thing from the Palm Beach Post. I said, read that, man. There are certain elements of perversion that are demonstrated and connected to the pleasure he takes at certain times in telling his story true. But at the same time, he wants to be better than the best. The perversion resides in the fact that on the one hand he won't confess to his crimes and at the same time he lets you know that others aren't as good as he is, that he's better than others. And if you look closely, you can't think that at the point where he licks his lips, when he runs his tongue on his lips, he doesn't extract great pleasure from it since at the same time there's a particular intensity in his eyes and in the lowering of his voice which shows the pleasure he still takes in a certain way and reliving these experiences. Experience. As with all serial killers, Gerard Schaefer set his heart on prey that was systematically weaker than him. Young women who are easier to catch. Les tueurs en série tels qu'on les a étudiés. 